Russians take equipment out of Mariupol due to logistical problems. The Russian occupation forces lack the logistics to deploy combat operations along the entire contact line. Oleksiy Dmitryshkivsky, head of the United Press Center of the Defense Forces of the Tavria Front, said it. Why is the enemy keeping a group of troops on the Zaporizhia Front and not attacking? Let me explain. If the enemy extends its offensive along the entire contact line, it will start to lack logistics. The enemy already lacks logistics on the four main fronts where it is attacking. If the Zaporizhia front is also included, the enemy will not be able to supply ammunition or fuel at all. The problem with this is already tangible. We received information that the enemy after numerous attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces on ammunition and fuel storage points in Mariupol, has begun to take equipment and ammunition out of Mariupol. This will complicate logistical supplies of ammunition and fuel, as well as equipment repair, he added. Before this, Mayor of Mariupol, Vadim Boychenko, announced that in recent weeks a large part of the Russian troops have withdrawn from the city after Ukrainian forces had shelled Russian ammunition depots and other facilities in the city. Boychenko, who remains loyal to authorities in Kyiv, claims that the Russian occupying forces no longer feel safe in Mariupol and they are moving their logistics bases outside the city. The occupants' impression that they are located deeply back of the front lines has been smashed. The city has become dangerous for them. They thought they were safe, but now it's the front line. The Russian troops did not expect this, so they moved further from Mariupol. Our forces are gearing up for a counter-offensive, Boychenko said.